Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new 2021 Netflix original animated feature film, Back to the Outback. This is an hour, 20-something long with trailers, uh, with with credits, excuse me. This is, this was perfect. I, I had, I didn't have expectations for this. I've been on an animated feature film binge recently. So, uh, or, well, we just talked about Maya and the Three. So animated, chosen, and, and film. And and this was in my you know it's on my list on Netflix and and I love Australia, so like I was very curious about the Australian version of Madagascar. Madagascar is uh, when when did that come out? Oh two oh three, um, about these animals in uh, New York City Central Park Zoo. They were being transported. They got escaped in a sense. They 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 fell off a crate basically. Um, landed in Madagascar. But we've had a lot of, like, animals escaping zoos movies since then. Of course it makes sense. So, like, you, you have high expectations for Disney, for Pixar, for um, Illumination Studios, for DreamWorks, for Sony Animation Studios. So, like, Netflix Animation Studios is, is amping it up. And I'm very, I'm very happy with, uh, with the companies that, that Netflix partners with. Um, normally I'm not a fan of two directors on films, but this worked very well. It was very quick. It was fun. It was disgusting. It was hysterical. Like, animated, like, spiders throwing up. Hysterical. Gross. An animated cow literally taking a dump on top of a koala bear. Hysterical. Disgusting, but hysterical. So you have this koala, you have a snake, you have a horned lizard, you have a spider, you have a scorpion. All inadvertently traveling to get back to the outback, to get to these mountains, you know, their their crocodile friend Jackie was taken away from the zoo, so they're escaping to get away because they're not, not the monsters that, you know, they're deemed to be. So they want to get back to their rightful families, and then it turns out they're their own family at the end, which is cute and adorable, but, like, there's an ugly society and, like, all the ugly creatures, ugly animals who are deemed ugly who are not ugly, and, like, it, it, it was so cute. It was it was very look inwards in yourself and very fun. It was they, you had the snake sing the same song twice, but like I'm considering this a musical. There was just beautiful score of of music throughout. There was a perfect soundtrack as well. The the ugly beautiful song at the very end, incredible, absolutely incredible. I loved this movie. Blown away. I'm gen I can genuinely say I was blown away because I had no expectations, and this was incredible. Go watch it. Uchi mahalo.